The unique Sir John Whitmore Trophy, a 30-car mini race, an endurance two-driver encounter, 45 minutes of mini mayhem. From the front row of the grid, it was Nick Swift in the hand-coloured car, livery designed by a competition winner last year at the Goodwood uh, Speed Week. That took the lead. Early departure stage left for one of our hopeful front runners, the Edgecombe and Buncombe car. Uh, Jeff Smith on the grass early on, as were a number of the cars. Big moment for MDAF Owens in the battle for second place at the end of the early laps. He just hung on to the car. That really didn't help their chances. As ever with mini races, the action was fast, frenetic and ultra close. Coming back from a disappointing qualifying, Chris Middlehurst in 104, the pale green mini was turning fastest lap after fastest lap. And as his rivals in front battled three, four, five abreast for second place, Middlehurst caught and picked them off one by one. Jeff Smith in the black car, giving his best, at least temporarily, to hold off Middlehurst. But it was the flying fireman, Bill Solis, former multiple mini Millia champion, who caught Nick Swift and passed him before we got to the mid-race pit stop window. So was the Swift car beatable? Well, every Mini is beatable occasionally. Coming in to hand over to Andrew Jordan, unexpectedly not in the lead. Chris Goodwin taking over his car with a top six chance on the cards and rejoining the fray. The question was, as Matt Neal came out in front in 55, would Andy Jordan get by him? Jordan had stopped a lap or two earlier, Nick Swift. Oh, that was close. Moment on the grass or two. This is the 88 car. Dropping down the order, Andy Jordan started to set off into the middle distance. Roman Duma, who took over 104 from Chris Middlehurst, moved up into second at the end of his pit stop take that place away from Matt Neal. And Andy Jordan was in a class of his own. A late race blow up for Andre, Andre Lotterer, who was a lap down, but as quick as anything. And just two tenths of a second shy of time, Andy Jordan crossed the line for the penultimate time for the last lap of the race. The chequered flag flew. Nick Swift, Swift Tune running 10 cars, providing 24 engines in the 30 car field ended up where they started, at the very front. From pole to victory, but it was not that straightforward. As ever with mini racing, every position from first to last, tightly contested, even in the final corner. Andy Prio getting a nudge through the tyre barrier that actually ended up giving him one more position. The victory going to Nick Swift and Andrew Jordan.